Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the uh, Summer 3 event revival that was just confirmed, I believe, today. Um, so that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it helps the channel a whole bunch, and the support lately for Fake Grand Order videos has made me want to make more as I try and figure out how to make Fake Grand Order videos with my extremely limited... <laughs> And very bad setup to be able to make a fake Grand Order video setup. So, old living situation, but whatever. Uh, so let's get into it. So the free for this event is uh, Jolter. She is a Berserker. Her Noble Phantasm is based off of Hiei from Yu Yu Show. She has a fantastic swimsuit, so she's obviously a fantastic free-to-play unit for you to get. She's single target from what I remember, and she has a very interesting mechanic where I think she basically gets a one one hit evade every turn with her skills. Um, I think it only lasts three turns. I think it only lasts three turns. Either, either way, she usually does not live very long for it to last more than three turns for me because she is a berserker. But she is a perfectly fine unit for you to get and she also has buster stuff, so perfectly fit out for that. Perfectly strong. Um, the specific, because this rerun is just part one, the banners were going to be this one, which features a uh, Gene Archer, Ibaraki in Lancer form, and Ushiwakamaru in Assassin. Uh, summoning Campaign 2. We have the males who get their swimsuits, um, spirit dresses here. There are no f male summer units if you're not aware in Fate Grand Order, at least not yet, unless this is the year JP changes that. But usually what it means is that the males get a spirit on dress and then that's how they become summer units. So for this year it is Robin Hood, uh, Caster Gilgamesh, and Dantes, which is again for not this year. Technically this year is, is something different. But um, those are the spirit on dresses you can get in the events. And also just to quickly note the event itself, this event is insanely long. The sooner you start it the better. This is not an event you want to wait till the last three days to do all of it. If you do it, I have a. You would have to be some kind of speed demon to finish it all. I think in three days' time, starting from part one all the way to the end of part two, you would be insane. Uh, so make sure to start on that event as soon as possible. And also, there is a third summoning campaign that comes with part two, uh, which is Summer BB um, Serious Hero and X uh, Summer. I was about to call it no, it's XX. <laughs> That's it. I was like, it's not Alter, but there's yeah, there's two X's. Um, and Maeve, who is a Summer Maeve, who is a Saber. Um, they're not mentioned here, but they'll get their own video later. For right now, we're just focusing on Summoning Campaign 1 and Summoning Campaign 2. But it is good to kind of note that later on, BB is going to be coming, and I think it's a week after this event starts on the 12th. So, good thing to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the units specifically. Jean, Archer is fantastic. Um, even right now in the current state of the game that isn't a lot of arts focused, she's an AoE arts unit but is fantastic at being that. Uh, she can kind of sort of loop similar to how Mo Ryder, the summer version, can also loop currently. Um, with a lot of NP gain <laughs> being given to her and a lot of other Tom Tomomo support and stuff like that. She's a fantastic unit. We can actually look at her skills right here. How about I, I just do that instead of you just taking my word for it. So Endless Enjoy Summer increases arts performance for three turns, grants self invincibility for two attacks. At level one it's 20% and at level 10 it is 30%. Uh, her second skill, Waterfront Saintless Dolphin, charges on MP gauge, increases MP damage for three turns, and increases on crit damage on a water side battlefield. Uh, level 1 is 20% MP gauge, is 10% MP damage, and 30% crit when at, by a water side. And at level 10 it is 40% MP, 20% MP damage, and 50% uh, crit damage next to a water side. And for the third skill, increases the party's attack for 3 turns, further increases the attack of allies with a good ailment for 3 turns, 10%, 10% at skill 1, and 20%, 20% at uh, level 10. And her passive skills are Magic Resistance B, increases on debuff resistance by 17.5%, and Independent Action Celeb. Uh, which increases own critical damage by 10% and charges on MP gauge by 3% every turn by a water slide battlefield. And this is her Noble Phantasm. It is rank 8 plus, deal damage to all enemies, gains crit stars every turn for 3 turns, 10, not bad, at charge le uh, level 100%, and at MP level 1 it's 400% 400, 450% damage, 
I think she's an extremely solid unit. Um, she has like pretty good ascension stages as well, as you can see here too. Here's her with the Reese Dolphin. And here's her pretending to be Santa Lily for some reason. Never was the biggest fan of this one, but it for certain people it hits the right stuff, I guess. Um, but one and two are perfectly fine for, for me. Uh, she's a perfectly fantastic five star, and especially with Castoria coming in the future, um, she's kind of good for future proofing. It's someone that you can rely on. But even if you don't care about that stuff, she's extremely fun to use. I think um, all her animations are really fun. She summons a giant whale, so on both sides for me, it kind of fits for it pretty good. Um, next we got Ibaraki Doji, who is a lancer. Um, this unit I actually have. Funny enough, from these three units, uh, I don't have G. <laughs> I think I have every summer unit f except for Jean and Maeve. Those are the only ones I'm missing. And that includes the males. Uh, let me just quickly run this one. She's basically a buster servant. She has a buster single target. Um, she's perfectly fine for a buster single target for Lancer. <laughs> The, I don't think she really excels anything too crazy, but she has like a lot of fun animations. I love using her because her animations are insanely fun. Uh, she's the one who summons the fireworks festival while she's eating food. Um, so I end up liking her a whole bunch for that specific reason. But because I'm someone who doesn't really run Buster, the only reason I use her at, at any time is during uh, summertime. And during summertime, I have a whole lot of fun because I really do like her animations. I like kind of using her and having fun with her. It always makes me feel like I want to use her skills because as you can see here, it increases the party's attack for three turns, increases on MP damage for three turns, increases on MP generation rate for three turns, which is a very good skill to have, actually. Um, I'm not home yet, increases max HP for three turns and removes debuffs. And then for a third skill, increase on crit star absorption for one turn. Increase one, uh, increase own crit damage for one turn, and randomly increases reduces own debuff resistance by thirty percent for one turn. The only thing about this one is that it's random whether or not you get the positive buff or the negative buff, but I've never actually seen it affect me too hard. Now that I think about it, um, the other thing I like is that a noble phantasm actually gives you a lot of crit stars, uh, which is very, very nice for Buster units. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I think about her. I really like her for fun. She's not necessarily like the go out and get her single target Lancer for any purpose really. Um, but if you're a fan of Ibaraki Doji or you're just a big fan of someone who's eating like cotton candy while fireworks go off in the background, I'd say it's pretty much worth getting her. Um, Ushi Wakamaru. This unit, this is going to hurt to say. I love Ushi. I have the writer form of her, 10. I use Assassin a whole bunch, too. I use this specific Assassin because I, in my mind, when I looked at her kit, which is Charges on MP Gauge, uh, her second skill here grants self evasion and increases quick performance, and her third skill um, doesn't really help with a lot of stuff. But she does grant self debuff immunity, which is nice, and has some other stuff with it, too. Um, and her Noble Phantasm is a. Um, AoE quick. So in my mind, I was like, oh, okay, so I'm going to try and loop with her. Here's the problem that I actually have with her, which I think is something that's around here. She also has some pretty good passive skills, I'd say. Around three, and she gets the important quick one. She's like so built out for quick, but the problem is, is that damage-wise, she just doesn't do enough. Um, and I don't know if her... I think it's a problem with a lot of quick servants is that their MP charge usually gets a little bit nerfed. I don't know why Fago does it. I'm going to assume it's because they get crit stars a lot of the time. So they feel like the crit stars outweighs the... They shouldn't have the ability to get like 50 crit stars and crazy MP charging as well. Which I think is fair. But for units like Ushiwagamaru who are a quick um, AoE um, and assassin... Here's the other thing is that Assassin actually makes her attacks do just slightly less damage. I want to say it's 0.8% attack for each thing she does. The point being here is that you need full skill stuff to actually get her to loop. Um, which is a real bummer. <laughs> it actually is a super bummer every time I use her. I really do like using her. I think she's like MP3 for me. I use her all the time, but I think she definitely needs a buff of some kind. And in terms of having fun with her, I like the look of her. Like, look at this. This is some fantastic art here. 
But the problem is, is with the Noble Phantasm, they really cheaped out with it. It's maybe one of the least fun summer animations out there, I think. Like, yeah, I think it's not as good as some of the... It's, like, borderline Summer 1 quality. Like, her and Summer Marie are, like, right next to each other. At least Summer Marie summons a super pretty dress for everyone to look at. Um, but even that said, she's still Lushi. She's still super usable. Just know that going in, if you want to use her for specifically meta purposes, it's going to take a while. For fun purposes, I do think, again, that her Noble Phantasm could have been a little bit better. Uh, put in a little bit more, I guess effort isn't the right word, but it could have been more interesting as the, yeah, that's more like it. Um, and her actual animations when you're fighting, I think are pretty solid from what I remember. Um, there's nothing that super stands out that's like, oh yeah, she has that one really cool animation. It really is just feels like, uh, they could have done a little bit better, but at the same time, this is an extremely hard unit to get. If you're a fan of Ushi, obviously you're summoning. So, I wish you good luck. <laughs> I honestly do, because I would have gladly gone under MP5 if my luck wasn't so bad on this banner when I summoned for her. And then just to very quickly talk about the males. Um, Caster Gill, I think is pretty solid for art setup. He's pretty good to use. He's not as busted as the Buster Archer version of him, but that's kind of a lofty goal to attain. <laughs> But he's super good to use in general, and I want to say he gets an animation update a little bit later, so he's actually pretty fun to use as well. Um, let me see. No, but this costume's fantastic, actually. This is a really good costume. Look at that. Look at that man in the sun. Who wouldn't want to use that? Uh, Robin Hood, super good unit. There's not a lot of things you can say about Robin Hood other than he's extremely good. <laughs> Um, so if you want to use him, you can. Uh, he's perfectly usable. He's extremely usable, I should say. I'm making it sound like he's bad. No, he's not at all. He's super good. Um, it, and, uh, worth kind of building up, for sure. The kind of damage that you can put out with him is super fun. It's, it's one of those things that's like, oh, even if you don't want to play that way, he can still do pretty, uh, fantastic damage just as a solo, uh, archer at three star. And Dantes, I think he's extremely good for looping. Um, he's extremely fun to use. I love hearing his laugh. I love doing his double phantasm. I love the summer goth look he has with the summer outfit. I absolutely love everything about Dantes, I think. Down, I, he might be one of my favorite units in all of Fate Grand Order, so maybe take that a little, what I'm pra my praise of him with a grain of salt. But I just think he's super awesome to just look at. Look at him! Oh, it's so cool. And then his summer outfit. I mean, this is pretty cool. But this. This is the good stuff, man. Look at that. He has a little kitty thing here. How do you not love that? That's great. Um, and the unit, of course. If you're someone who cares about meta, you can use him for um, AoE looping with quick. Um, in some instances, you would probably, if you have like an MP5 Lancelot, you would probably use him over Dantes in some situations. But from using him for like basically an entire year after getting him off of the GSSR, I've never had a problem with um, using him at level 90 at um, Fold Out. Not even Golden Fold Out, so 1000, 1000. I've never had a problem with looping with him. The only time I think I ever did was in a really weird situation where it's like the enemies have. 5 billion HP or something like that, and even then it's a little bit hard. Actually then, no, if they have 5 billion HP, then all you need is like a quick chain and you get all your stuff back automatically. I think he's really good. There's the best of it. So here's the- oops. That's the, the Reddit, so watch out for that. Um, here's the question here. Because I really do think a lot of these units are good. You're almost making it seem like, hey, should you summon? I don't know. This is up to you uh, at the end of the day, to be honest. I'm someone who already has them, so I'm speaking from a... A... Position that isn't necessarily going to be shared with a lot of people. If you're a big fan of Gene, for example, and you don't care about any of the other future units coming, you don't care about Summer BB, you don't care about the next Summer um, sets of units, then I'm saying right here, live your truth, go for your favorite. If you absolutely love Ushiwakamaru and you're going to risk it all for it, go for it, my dude. I love nothing more than people playing the game 
the way they do it with the way they with the units they love. That's why I beat every hard event with quets because <laughs> I love using quets. Uh, the only time I don't is when there's a um, assassin, in which case I switch over to ruler quets. Um, so yeah, that's today's video. That's part one. For BB, I'll do another video for when that comes out. Uh, those are my kind of thoughts about it. I know I said a lot of these units are good, but to be honest, I really do think that a lot of these units are usable because that's the kind of game Fate Grand Order is. And um, I'm someone who plays this game for two different reasons. I play it because sometimes I like having meta units completely destroy things, and then sometimes I like winning with units that aren't used as often. Um, and I think both playstyles are perfectly valid. It's up to the player to decide how they want to do it. So, good luck to you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night, everyone. <laughs> you guys enjoy your day.